What's up everyone, it's Dan again and today I'm checking in just to um, show you a quick video. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I've just been doing like a, an art series tutorial and I've been going through how I create my artwork on different sort in different sorts of styles. Uh, today um, we're going to go through how I apply colour to certain pictures and how I make it look the way I, I do. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram or if you have not seen my artwork so far, um, I'm at the Cali Design on Instagram, um, and obviously you'll be able to see my my style and what sort of artwork I produce there. So today we're going to be just applying colour to this uh, Divocca Rigi um, iconic picture from the Champions League final. Um, I've already sketched out the the picture here on the right hand side, um, as you can see. Um, and I've actually gone over this sketch uh, with some neater line art. So this is the sort of um, this is the image we're going to be working from. So when I'm conscious of these videos being a bit too long, um, I'm being maybe they've been like thirty five minutes, forty minutes long. So I'm I'm going to try and attempt to to keep this one um, within fifteen minutes if possible. So um, I'm just going to try and skip through it and um, try and get as much detail in as as I can and, and hopefully you can get some value from that from anyone watching. Um, so for the colour we're going to go to our colour layer. Again if you've not seen how I use my layers you can go to any of my previous videos. Um, we go to our colour layer and then we select our brush. Um, we go to painting here and then a flat brush. I've actually amended this flat brush so that it has um, certain taper um, characteristics so, so that it Basically, it um, it sharpens up at the end, and it and it and it, it basically produces a certain type of stroke. So we just select that red, and we just do that. You can see it's sort of it's jagged, and it's sort of um, it's it's a really nice looking style. And um, so it starts with a sort of thin angle, and then it it brushes out like a nice and um, textured style there. So. Um, that's what we're going to be using for today and what I usually do is I usually put the light colours in first so um, I've sampled this red colour because gen generally I, I, I do Liverpool players more than any any other players uh, so I've sampled a bunch of colours here for skin and, and for Liverpool kits especially so just going to start with this light red first and like I said what I'll do is I'll go onto my uh, colour layer and I'll just put in where the light colours are most of the time, I'll I'll go over the I'll go through the entire um, space of the the kit or the space where I'm where I'm coloring in. So I'll I'll literally come all the way down and just cover all of this in. Um, as you see, it's it's a really nice texture. It almost looks like a a texture of a football kit. Um, it's really like sort of jagged looking, which which I like. Um, so I'll do all these light bits first, I'll just colour in everywhere that I need to and then once I've got the light bits in I'll start adding some brighter bits of red. So as you can see on the left hand side is his legs here, uh, much brighter red in the, mid in the middle there and then also the top of his shoulders got some really bright red here like that and then maybe across here as well he's got some red. Um, also his socks. Let's just put some red on his socks there. Again, this doesn't look like the colour you can see on the left hand side, but when we add the dark bits in, you'll see that. And then we've got some brighter red along the top. And then again, some brighter red here along the top of the uh, sock. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just neaten it up. So I'll go to the eraser tool and I'll just go make sure that this is this colour is inside the lines from what I've created. So it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, my style sort of like a, it's like a rough sketch style if anything, it's not sort of a perfect, um, fine style where, you know, I'm completely in the lines, like, I don't mind leaving sort of little bits like this underneath the leg, just hanging out, because it looks a bit more rough, like, a, what, what um, style I'm really obsessed with is a, I, I love art that, is has not got much to it but looks really detailed so 
when you look at the picture, there's there's not much detail in it, but the, the picture itself as a whole looks extremely detailed. And that's what the, these colour effects seem to be doing for, for my artwork, which which I'll show you when I start adding some more um some more textures and some more layers on there. So there's the basics of the red, I think. I think I've captured most of it. I think we'll just add a little bit more red to the back of his shirt here. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll just come in with the darker red that I've sampled again here for the darker part. So you'll see straight away underneath his underneath his arm there, he's got a really dark um, red. And again, I won't be too detailed with the brush. I'll just sort of... Um, I just sort of run it across, not in, not in the most detailed fashion. If anything, it's it's more of an um, more of just a, a scribble. If anything, so underneath the shirt here, we've got a lot of dark, and then it comes underneath his leg like that, and then again on the socks, we can see there's a lot of dark here, and then a lot of dark under there as well. So you'll see it starts to sort of not look realistic just yet but you'll see it starts to come together to look you can see those shadows really make it look a little bit more um realistic compared to what it looked in initially okay so that's worked out okay so now here's where we start adding some really dark red colors so this red that i've sampled here right at the bottom it's an extremely dark red and this really brings the the realism out in the drawing so we'll just start under the arm because that's sort of the darkest part of the drawing um, and it sort of fades up and it comes across like that and then again just under here we've got some really dark shades and then that again comes across there and then again here just in that fold of the arm and some underneath and then on the um, socks as well, just under the, under the calf. So where I usually add dark shading is under the, so where you'll see like a raise in the, in the picture. So you'll see like, for example, his calf comes out here underneath. So anything that comes out or protrudes from the body, you'll generally get a shadow underneath it. So for example, a shin pad, we might add some in there. And again, some in here on this shin because the shin pads come out. Um, and then underneath here, we've obviously got that muscle. Um, and then under his arm, obviously, there. And then we'll just bring that down slightly like that. So what I'll do now is I'll use the rubber, the, the eraser tool, to basically add some um, highlights to the drawing. And... What I'll do is I'll use the round brush and I'll just go really small with it and I'll just take off some of the edges here so where the light sort of bounces off them in the image so around here like that around the collar a little bit and then maybe on his back in parts here and I, again I'll be really messy with it I won't be sort of um, delicate or detailed with the drawing, I'll, I'll just come in where I can see any sort of highlights, like on the legs or um, on, the, on the edges, and I'll come right across this, um, right across this leg like that, and then the socks I've got, I've already sort of left the shade there on that, um, but I'll just take off a little bit more there, so there we go. So I'd say that looks okay for now. And again, the style that I'm I'm going for is what I'll show you. If we just go back to my gallery, here's a Steven Gerrard. So this is what it will sort of look like eventually, this sort of style. Um, so again, it's not detailed. When you zoom in, it, you know, I'm, I'm really messy with the brushes, but it comes out when you zoom out and it looks really sort of abstract and realistic. And that's the style that we're going to go for again today. So let's just go back to that Div Akarigi. Now, what I'm going to start adding in here is I'm going to start colouring his skin. So we need some dark brown. So 
I've got no sort of brands on here that I've that I've sampled so far, so we're just gonna go to um our disc and we're gonna try and find the brown colour. And it's usually in between the red and the yellow there, so if we just go to we've got really dark skin divox, so what we're looking for is that lighter tone. See that sort of lighter tone on the top of his arm, on the top of his right arm. And then on that back arm as well, he's got that same sort of light tone. So it's almost like a, a grey, like sort of this colour, I'd say, maybe. Um, I'd say... That's maybe the right colour, that sort of grey. It's, it's almost like a white grey, so... Let's see what this sort of looks like. So we'll go with the flat brush again. And we'll just... Yeah, I'm happy with that colour. And we'll just put some in there. And again, the top of the arm here. Um, and again, this is just highlight. So I obviously know his skin isn't grey. It's, it's, it's more brown and dark brown. But this is sort of the underneath colour that we can see shining off him. And then let's go darker brown on this now. So he's got more of a... So his dark brown's almost a little bit more of a red. And it's I'd say it's about... Here. So we've got some... It's almost like red coloured almost. Let's see on this. I'm just looking at his... At like his hand. So I'd say that's a nice colour to... Add in, so we've got some nice dark tones there. And, there. and again, his face is, his face is a bit, add that in, and on his forehead. Again, we'll just, um, down the back arm. And then he's got some small highlights there. Okay. And then we've got the real dark brown now to add. So if we go to say, let's say here, he's got really dark skin, Divokarigi. So we'll just add in this dark colour here and then round the back of his ear. And then his chin as well. Okay. And then his arm is really dark on the underside there. Um, let's just add that in again. Just see the hands. So his hands are quite light on the other side. And then we'll add some real dark tones in, this, in the bottom here. And then on the hand, we've just got a little bit. And then his legs are really dark under this. But again, I'm just following the sort of shadows here. Of what the what it is like on the picture that I'm copying. I've gone too far up there. His beard's really dark underneath there. And then his under comes down. And then his hair comes across. And it's really dark here. And I'm just gonna add some dark colours in there as well. It's sort of dark all the way up to there. And then under the arm again, we're going to put some really dark tones there. All the way down. And then leave that open. So let's get under the arm here, some really dark tones. And then again on the legs, this is where sort of the darkest part of it is underneath here. And again, I'm not being detailed here at all, I'm just... Um, I'm just following the, the the lines, so I think I need to add some more of that darker brown in on his face. Um, but I'm gonna go a bit more red on it, so bring it round to be a bit more red, and then just move it up slightly to there. I think that is a nice colour to use. So. Think. Yeah, that's a really nice colour. 
So it's almost like a luminous, like a luminous, and we'll just follow the arm again here and come down. I think that's a nice colour to add. You'll see the way the colours sort of mix in together and eventually start looking like um, a real, really realistic paint, painting. Um, I've actually got a, a, buy, a buyer for this one. Um, it was requested from a friend of mine on Twitter. Um, we'll just add some more tones in there. So I want to make this really good. Um, so I'll just put more tones in there. And I think we need to go darker again for the top of the forehead. We're just going to rub out those bands on his shoes. So there we go. And then we're going to add those nice fluorescent ready, sort of ready pink. It's ready pink there, I'd say, that colour. Um, on his shoes there, so to the back and then there too and then again on there and then sort of down and then it's, it goes really to like a fluorescent orange doesn't it so let's add that fluorescent orange colour in there and again on this side And then we've got some, we'll just make some highlights on that. And what else do we need to do here now? I think for the base colour we've actually got it nailed on. I think we've abs absolutely nailed it. Um, so what I'd like to do now is just start adding some highlights. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of a highlight here. here. Which you can see under his shirt on this side. And I think we need to add, in fact, we need just need to add that darker red. That, that We'll just go with the black again there. So what we're going to do now is add some highlights. We're going to go to the highlight layer here. And this is what really brings it, the drawing to life now. So because his shoes are like fluorescent orange, I'm going to go with this orange colour here. Um... I'm going to make it really bright orange. And what I do for the highlights is I literally just follow some of the lines. So I'll just follow the lines on his, like his shorts, for example. And then on his, um, on his shirt, so like that. I'll just follow the, the edge of the lines. And where I see sort of light bouncing off him, I'll just add that colour in. So... Some nice fluorescent orange there. Yeah, let's just see in the front of that shin. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then I think I might add some. He sort of got. I want to add some like um, like fluorescent pinks into some of these pictures because like I wonder how this is gonna look. So let's just add some. Pink. It might just make that red really pop. So if we just add some fluorescent pink there, and then again across the shoulder and down here on this front leg, and on this back leg. Yeah, I think that's really popping nicely. And his his shoes are almost pink, aren't they? So we'll just add some pink on there, and then again with this one. So you'll see it really starts to like pop out now. Absolutely iconic picture of Divock Origi. And for any Liverpool fans. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some of that pink into his hair there. Because I think it really makes it pop. And then some of that fluorescent orange into his face. And I'll just bring that around. And again, I'm not detailed here much. I'm just sort of following the lines I'm not really getting much detail in I think we need to add more darker tones to that under, to that undertone just add some into his head and now I think we are nearly done um, we'll just rub out, go back to that colour line and just rub out this shin pad. And on the whole, 
the only thing I'm sort of missing is I'm going to add some um, pink into the as a separate layer into that white on his back if anything it's like it's not pink it, it, the colour I'm thinking of it's like a, I'm looking for like a turquoise colour I think this might just set I think this turquoise colour might really look good so let's just see what this looks like oh yeah that's the one so for some of these whites we're just going to add some The turquoise really pops, doesn't it? it? Really pops out because of the. I'll add some more on there across the top. And then let's just um, take a step back. I think we just need to. We'll just group everything together. So that this is so I can move the the whole piece together in one, um, without it. I'll we'll just turn it that way a bit so that it looks balanced. And I think I'm just gonna redo that arigi on the back. Let's just take this out. Um, I'm just gonna rewrite rewrite his name and then we've got that um on the back that eternal flame there. and then have we got any more highlights to add I don't think so I think I think we've nailed it so there it is guys so we've effectively added I'm just gonna add those abstract night ticks to his um so we're just gonna go to inking and we're just gonna go to studio pen and we'll just do this in black and I'll just add these night ticks to his um there we go. I am very happy with the way that's turned out. Um I just need to rub out that um some of that green because it looks like the paint the picture's not there you go I'm extremely happy with that so what we've got is a mixture of nice coloured tones we've got the undertone which is the colour section there on the right on the colour layer we've got the nice red and the normal tones for the skin as and the dark tones for the skin as well and then the highlights over the highlights on top, the white and the turquoise and the pinks really make that image pop. So that's my uh, tutorial for today. Um, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to be posting this on there. It's at the Cali Design. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I, I hope this video wasn't too long like some of my other ones. Um, and if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Um, and I hope you got some value from today. So enjoy your day in lockdown best you can. And I'll speak to you soon.